Ish, ish, ish. Hey, hey. What's up, guys? It's J Pro. We're back with another round of reflex bag workouts. And today we are challenging the body and the brain with a four round advanced combination workout. Make sure you have your sneakers laced up, your space is cleared out, you're ready to go, you don't need your gloves on yet. We're gonna jump into a warm up in 10 seconds. All right, getting ready to get loose, get relaxed. We're gonna open right up with this three minute warm up with a wrist stretch. So you're gonna extend your arm and use one hand to just pull down, opening up the wrist and the forearm. We're here for 30 seconds. You know, someone commented on one of the beginner workouts they put out and they said, hey, this looks great, but we can switch arms here. This looks great, but I'm past beginner level. I don't know if I'm gonna do this one. And like, you know, hey, I respect it. The reflex bag is a tough tool, so I wanna make sure there's a lot of entry level beginner content out there. We're gonna transition now to an arm across the chest. But I'll tell you right now, this advanced combination, working our way up to an 11 move boxing combo on the reflex bag, it's far from beginner. And if you are a beginner, then you're bold for going for it. Let's switch arms here. Really pull that arm so you feel that stretch in your shoulder. The more flexible equals better boxing technique. Remember that. Now we're gonna go right to alternating lunges. So one leg at a time goes out in front and then you just dip straight down. Better flexibility equals better boxing. Boxing is all lines and angles. So upper body stiffness, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> All right, let's get right into jumping jacks now for 30 seconds. Nice full extension of the arms, starting to get the heart rate up here. Fifteen seconds. Let's go, let's go. Okay, last minute we're gonna go into a little freestyle shadow boxing. Now, if you're a reflex bag owner, a little challenge for you. I want you to practice your shadow boxing where you're just tapping your bag at full extension. So practice a one, two, three. It's gonna help you with your balance and your technique and reminding you that you always wanna punch with full extension to really work that boxing technique. Now, if you're a beginner, we use a punch number system so you can line up in your stance, dominant foot and uh, hand are in the back. We've got the one, that's the lead straight. The two is the rear straight. Three is the lead hook. Four is the rear hook. Five is the lead uppercut. Six is the rear uppercut. So now we're good to go. You can throw those gloves on, grab a sip of water. We jump into round one in one minute. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so we're getting our gloves on. We're getting ready for round one. Now, if you've done the first advanced combo workout, cue it up right here, then you know that we don't jump right into the super combo. We're gonna actually work our way up over the course of the four rounds. We're gonna break it down into three parts, and then we're gonna put it all together at the end. So, make sure those gloves are on. Water nearby, we're jumping right into round one in 30 seconds. We're gonna work some of the fundamentals. We're gonna break that combo together. We're definitely gonna get a good workout in the process. So shake it out, we jump right into round one in 10 seconds. Now we're gonna open up and we're just gonna work the one at a combination pace for 30 seconds. Doesn't matter if you just started boxing or if you're Canelo, you're always drilling the basics. So let's head right up to our bag 
And for the first 30, we're just gonna start working that one. Double up on it if you want. Little footwork. 15 seconds here, just working the one. Okay, now we're gonna switch over and work the two. Combination pace, don't forget, footwork. If you're just doing this, it's not the full experience. You wanna challenge yourself with different angles. Throw some head movement in there, some slips. 10 seconds here. Okay, next 30 seconds. Now we're gonna get into our flow, one, two. So now we're working those shoulders a little bit. This is a really good test, this flow one, two, of how your rhythm and how your development is coming together on the back. If you're a new owner, you wanna start out nice and slow so you're controlling the bag. And then over time, you're gonna be able to build up that speed. It's a really nice measure of how much control you have. Now we're gonna go into a little active recovery. It's gonna be a slip, slip, roll, roll. So slip, slip, roll, roll. 15 seconds here. Slip, slip, roll, roll. I wonder why we're working slips and rolls. Wonder if those are gonna be part of our combo. All right, last minute of the round, we're going into part one of our mega combo. It's gonna be a one, two, slip lead, one, two. So that's a one, two, slip, one, two. Ish, ish. Ish, ish. And then move. Ish, ish. Ish, ish. Think about that bag. Ish, ish is the punch coming at you. You wanna visualize, you throw, it comes back at you, slip, and then you counter. One, two, slip, one, two. Challenge your balance, too. Can you do the whole thing from one position? Ish, 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 ish. 15 seconds. Ish, 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 ish. Do you have control of your bag? One more. Ish, 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 ish. And time. Grab a sip of water. We go into round two and part two in one minute. Okay, so while we're waiting for round two to start, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the uppercuts. I get a lot of questions about uppercuts when it comes to using a reflex bag. And it's really obvious, it doesn't feel natural, right? When I hold mitts for people and we're doing training, I'm holding the mitt up here so you have that clean connection when you make an uppercut. But on a reflex bag, you're coming in at a funny angle. So anytime that you're doing uppercuts, you really just wanna understand that you're driving from the hips and the connection isn't gonna feel 100% clean. It's not gonna feel as clean as when you're landing a nice straight punch or you connect with the hooks, but that's okay. Boxing isn't clean at all. You know, boxing gets dirty, boxing gets messy. You just wanna make sure you're able to tag your bag and as you practice, you're gonna get more and more comfortable. So speaking of, for the first 30 seconds, we're just gonna work a five, which is the lead uppercut. You see there's a lot of variations of uppercuts. Sometimes I throw a five and it's almost like people would consider it almost like an upside down jab. But that's still a five if I'm coming up. And then sometimes when the speed is really building, I'll kind of wind up that uppercut. That's okay too. At the end of the day, practice and experience are gonna open up a lot, which is why we're working those into the combo today. Now we're gonna to switch to the six, the rear uppercut. Move around that bag, get your timing right, and work that six. If you need to center your bag a little bit, that's okay. Ish. 
All right. Now we're gonna go right into a flow, five, six. So now this is our light, sustainable pace. We're gonna practice those uppercuts with a flow, five, six, for 30 seconds. Stay with me here. I wonder if part two is gonna feature any uppercuts. But don't forget about part one. What is it? Yeah, it's the one, two, slip, bleed, one, two. Okay, 30 seconds, active recovery. We're just gonna go to a roll lead, roll rear. So if you're in your stance, roll lead, roll rear. Remember, we don't wanna bend with the back because then we're blind to our opponent. We bend with our legs. We create that U motion with our legs. Lead, rear, lead, rear. You can also use your bag as the center line. Last minute, we're gonna to go to part two. Part two is gonna be a roll, rear, six, five, six. One more time, roll, rear, six, five, six. Let's practice on the bag. Roll, rear, six, five, six. Start nice and slow at first. Roll rear, six, five, six. Fifteen seconds here. Once you get comfortable with these rolls, it's gonna open up a lot of different options for you. And that's it, time. We're halfway through. All right, so now we're fully warm and this is where things are gonna get a little interesting going into the second half. We're gonna brush up on this combo and then we're gonna put it all together. And by the way, for anyone bold enough, courageous enough to film some highlights of them doing this workout and even doing the entire combination, tag me on Instagram at jprojabs. I wanna put you on my page. I wanna give you a shout out in the next workout. And to the first person who does it, I'm gonna feature your favorite combo in the next workout. And don't worry about your form. It doesn't have to look perfect. You don't have to look like me. If you're just going for it, that, that's impressive to me. Cause we know it's not easy out here. So going into round three, we're gonna open up with that flow one, two. We're gonna practice part one and part two. And then pretty soon we're gonna put it all together to form our mega combo. So let's get right up to our bag and let's open up with that flow one, two. For 30 seconds. Ten seconds here. Oh yeah. Let them fly if you want to let them fly. But do you have control? All right, now we're going to go to part one of the combo. You remember it? It's that one, two, slip lead, one, two. Let's just work part one. You want a challenge? Full speed would be you get it in one swing of the bag. But if you need to work a little slower, nothing wrong with that. It's better to take your time and have control. All right, now we're gonna to go to an active recovery. Slip lead, slip rear. Practice your balance here. You wanna be able to slip right from your stance. Slip lead, slip rear. Lead, rear. If you're getting off balance, that's okay. That's just something that you wanna work on. All right, now we're gonna practice part two of the combo. It's that roll rear, six, Five, six. Let's go. Now, bonus points if you can roll right off the combo to restart it. Five, six, 
roll rear, six. Usually, we don't work these combinations continuously, but this one, I don't know, it just feels natural to go right into it. Roll, six, five, six. All right, last minute of the round, we're gonna put part one and part two together. Let's do it at the same time. One, two, slip, one, two, roll, six, five, six. Again. Right, we don't want crazy out of control power. We want smooth, relaxed, fluid control. Loosen up that upper body, throw those punches, find your zone, your rhythm. It's, it's one of the absolute best parts of boxing training with a reflex bag. All right, we got time for one more. It's, 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 it's. Woo, oof, oof, oof. So satisfying. That's it. We're going into the fourth and final round in one minute. I know, we're gonna add to it. I hope you're with me. All right, this is it. This is where it's all coming together. I'm sweating, we're getting a great workout. Let's really push it here and see if we can complete the combination and then pull it off together at the end. So quick refresher, right, what's part one? Yep, it's that one, two, slip lead, one, two. Part two, roll rear, six, five, six. Part three is the fun part. It's just gonna be a step back two. Now you can throw a traditional two, or my favorite is that looping cross, that Conor McGregor, that knockout shot. You create space off of the uppercuts and then land that two over the top. So we're gonna break it down and then put it all back together. So we're gonna start this round with just that step back, two over the top. 30 seconds, so get right up close to your bag, step back, bam. This is the knockout shot. Let's go, let's work this for 30 seconds. Up close, step back, two. I talk a lot about not always putting in power, but sometimes you have to let it fly for the step back, two. All right, let's go back to, let's go back to part one. One more time. One, two, slip. One, two. We're here for 30 seconds. Ish, ish. Ish, ish. Ish, ah. Ah. Don't forget to breathe. Ish, ish. Ish, ish. Nice, relaxed upper body. Ish, ish. Ish, ish. One more. All right, let's go and practice part two. Roll rear. Six, five, Six. Roll rear, six, five, six. Remember that roll? Where are we bending? We're bending with our legs and keeping our eyes on that bag. Roll rear, six, five, six. Hiss, hiss, ice. One more. Roll rear, six, five, six. All right, this is it. For a minute and 30 seconds, let's put it all together. Let's do it once at the same time. One, two, slip. One, two, roll rear, six, five, six. Step back, bang, that's the shot right there. All right, now just you. Okay, now just me. It's, 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 it's. That feels good. All right, together again. One, two, slip. One, two, roll. Six, five, six. Aye. Step back two. Let's go at your own pace here. Put some swagger on it. Nice, relaxed, and loose. You're the butterfly out there now. This is. This is. This is. This is. This is. Ish, ish. Ish. I had some friends over this past weekend. 
They saw my butterfly tattoo for the first time. They said, I bet you cover that up when you fight, right? I said, no, I'm a butterfly out there. All right, last one, all together. Hiss, 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 and the knockout shot, bang! Woo! So satisfying, so good. You just made it through four rounds, advanced combination boxing workout number two. Let me know how you did today in the comments. Like this video if you enjoyed the workout. Subscribe so you don't miss a workout. We're dropping a new one every week. Follow me on Instagram for the combo of the week if four rounds isn't enough. And to that first courageous person who's gonna post footage of themselves doing the workout, tag me on Instagram. I can't wait to see it. Nice work, and I'll be seeing you again real soon. Ice, 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 ice.